Taste of PNG is brought to you by Origin Energy. Welcome back to Testo PNG. What a lovely day. This week, it's a week past, past week special. And I met a very good friend of mine. Oh, she's from Papua New Guinea. And she's the founder of the tapioca delight. She's the pearl of Papua New Guinea. She's making lovely cake. Let's go have a look what she made for me today. It's all about Papua New Guinea. Let's go together. Let's get some free cake and some free tea. Because I'm very hot today. Let's go. So we time time for a free tea. Lovely. So we are in your home. In your home where you're making lovely cake for everybody. That's right. This is the home of Tapioca Delight. Tapioca. Tell me more about Tapioca Delight. Why Tapioca Delight? Tapioca Delight because that was the first cake I ever sold in 2012. Yeah. When we registered the business, I thought I'd honor that first cake and name the business Tapioca Delight. Excellent. So tell me more about your baking. What? What? What kind of cake you providing to your customer? Okay, the first one was tapioca cakes, but yeah. um, from that we got requests for chocolate cake, for banana cakes, and then the cheesecakes as well, okay. and the request spread. So we also do red velvet cakes, uh, carrot cakes, pretty much whatever the customer wants, we prepare for them. You must be a bit of a pro on cooking. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a pro, but I do love it. You it's, love I cooking. enjoy it, yes. Junior, tell me. What will be the most baking time of the year, the busiest one? So our busiest time of the year would be Independence Day, the Christmas period as well. Mm -hmm. But um, days like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, those type, Father's Day, those are... Thank you, I thought you yes, Father's No, Father's we haven't days. forgotten yeah. Father's Day. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those are our busiest times. And we've recently just started going into the wedding cake industry. So trying that out as well. Okay, tell me more about wedding cake. It's a new adventure for you? It's something new? Or? Very new, uh -huh. new adventure, mainly because there's a demand. So yes. people are now requesting for wedding cakes, apart from birthday cakes, which is what uh -huh. we've traditionally been known okay. for. It's excellent. That's lovely because it's all done by your Papua New Guinea woman. That is excellent. So Junior, can you make anything for me? We have a signature dish of ours here for you to try today, Francois, and it's the Triple C Cupcake. And what that stands for is the Cheesecake Scented Chocolate Cupcake. And so there's, there's cheesecake um, in the middle of that chocolate cupcake, and we finished it off with uh, chocolate whipped cream. Excellent. So it's one of our favorites uh, for, the, for our customers and for us to make as well. That's, that's one of your creations. That's right. And you're proud of it. I'm very proud of I'm it. I'm proud of it too because I'm going to try it and I'm going to let you know what I think about it, obviously. And only the cupcake? No, we've got oh, scones okay. as All well right. for you. Okay. So these are our English scones. Yes. And this is mainly part of our morning tea and afternoon tea menu. So this is what we serve to our corporate clients for their meetings. So it comes with whipped cream and jam. So the favorite flavor in Papua New Guinea and the favorite color is this chocolate. I'm right. That's right. Yes. That's right. Uh, you make this one for me down there? Yeah, that one. That's uh, the chocolate cup. on the back down there. Yes. Okay, I'll have one. Yeah, go ahead. There we are. Look at that. Presentation is excellent. And the cream is delightful. It's got some good color. It's got some good stripe on it. And I'm just going to get a little bit of sip on it. That is delicious. That is delicious. It is very, very delicious. Very, very nice. So now, if I was a customer, if I want to have a touch with you, how can I find you? You can find us mainly on Facebook. Hey, don't tell me. Tell them. So you can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash tapioca delight. 
Our email address is tapiokadelight at gmail.com and our phone number as well is on your screen. And we are located at Lahara Avenue, Barocco. We operate from home. It's a home-based business with dreams to expand and get bigger soon. We're a home-based business and we have big dreams to um, expand one day soon. Are you done? Yes. I'm done also. I got my cake. I got my scone, I got my tea. Thank you for your time. It was lovely to be with you. I have work to do. Well, Virginia, it was a pleasure to be with you. And it's great to see uh, Papua New Guinea people doing something great like you do. And that's why we have to have more chefs like Papua New Guinea. Thank you, too. Thank you so much. And thanks for the cake. And thanks for the tea and the scone. In the meantime, don't go anywhere. We'll see you very shortly in the kitchen for the special dessert for Papua New Guinea. Love you all, God you bless. Up next, learn how to make some tasty cream puffs. Welcome back to the show, dear viewer. It's a special show for pastry, because I know all of you, you like him kai kai sweet, that that's all. So, what are we going to do now? We're going to do a shoe paste, or a pata choux, like we says in France. It's very easy. Cream puffs with strawberry. You will need 500 milliliters of water, six eggs, a 12 pack of strawberries, 500 milliliters of thickening cream, two tablespoons of vanilla essence, 200 grams of butter, and 250 grams plain flour. First stage, we're going to put half liters of water into the pot. And we're going to bring that water up to boil. Half liter is there. And in the meantime, you're going to put 200 grams of butter into the pot and let them boil. There we are, finish. Let them boil gently. Done. To do a shoe paste, you also need some eggs. When you use the eggs, you don't put the white and the yellow. You separate it. So that's what we're going to do now. There we are up here, that's our eggs. So we're going to take off the yellow from the white because it's not going to be good together. That's the way we do it professionally. Now, get the eggs, crack him, skin roll him, okay, hop him, put him up, put him up, and there's another egg on there. Easy way, you cut the eggs, you put your eggs in your hand, and obviously, you let the white go inside, and it's finished. So because we don't have enough eggs, so I got six eggs on the yellow and four eggs with the white in there to make it nice and lovely. Like I said, we're going to do a quick one today, so we're not have to bite with it. And now, thank you. So the water is boiling with the butter. I will put a little touch of salt on it. Not too much, that's it. There we are, so we got 12 eggs. If we use four eggs, how many eggs together? Thank you. Now, the flour will go into the boiling water, of course. Okay, and we're going to stir it up a bit. So what are we doing? We cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it, to make it a bit dry. There we are. Lovely, so that's what we have now. Something like that. Stop the fire. The mix is ready to go, and we go straight into the mixer. I'm going to pick up the mixer. Oh! The kitchen is fantastic. The door open themselves. The mixer come up himself. Honestly, what else can you want? That will go straight in the bowl. Bang! The mix into the bowl. There we are. We're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to add the eggs slowly. There we are. There we are. Give it a quick. This is what we should come up with. That's your shoe paste. A bit sticky, lovely. And that's the one. So 
perfect. I'm going to remove the shoe paste and on it way, so you see the consistency, that's why the shoe paste looks like it. Okay? Lovely. Okay, now, one plus puny come. So, we can simply click on the plan and we put him one plus low up. Another plan, we put him one plus low up. Test of PNG. Sort of makes a blend of people, of cooking, as what makes Test of PNG a great show to watch. And only on our TV, our national TV, EMTV, nowhere else. That's a lack, I like it. So I love to do things for Papua New Guinea, with Papua New Guinea. On a tray, ready to be cooked. Let's go and cook them. Let's shoot past, we'll go in the oven. About 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. I'm going to take a break. They are all cooked, all nice, beautiful, lovely. Shoe paste, pata shoe, very light, perfect. Good for dessert. So, next, what I'm going to prepare on the plate, now I'm going to cut them halfway like that. Indeed, because cream will go inside. So I should dispose them down there. And now, put them up, finish. Now, mixer, you come now. Only on test of PNG. The mixer come himself. And the fix will not come by himself. There's the cream I left in the fridge. So we're going to put half liter of cream. Lovely. Cream finish. The mixer is there. So I get a whisk now. Beautiful. We're going to put the whisk in. I don't put any sugar on my cream. We don't need sugar. There we are done. Go for it. Give it a quick, quick. Okay, about two, three minutes, four minutes, no more than that. And, of course, a bit of vanilla essence. To give taste, flavor. There we are. This is the cream, this is what you want. Thank you. Mm, lovely. Okay. Remove the bowl from the mixer. Take the bowl, put him on the table. Remove the mixer from the table, put the table on the floor. Now, because we don't have the piping bag, what I'm going to do is something very easy. I'm going to take my shoe like that, and obviously, I'm going to put my cream roughly on top, like that. All right? So, cream on top, fruit on side, pass him up, put him on the plate. Okay, we are, like I said again, roughly. Okay, we get a strawberry, put him on side. Lovely, beautiful, yummy, excellent. So I will put my strawberry up here on the side. I will go straight up here on that one. Okay, now to finish them off, I'm going to put a little bit of touch of icing sugar. Not too much, just to give it a little color color. So I got my icing sugar up here, I will put on my strainer. And obviously, I'm going to dust them up. Not too much, just a little dust on top, so it looks nice. Perfect, lovely, excellent. We got the cream puff, we will call that the cream puff with strawberry. Enjoy yourself. A bientôt, au revoir, see you shortly, love you all. Don't go anywhere, up next, Chef is making a delicious fruit tart. Dear viewer, welcome back to Taste of PNG, a speciality today. 
And not in Papua New Guinea, you're all God's sweet teeth. So, not me anymore, but I will come back again. I will do something very special and very simple for you. We're going to do a French fruit tart. Fruit tart, shortbread. You will need 500 grams of flour, 200 grams of butter, and 200 grams of sugar. Custard, 750 milliliters of milk, and 200 grams of custard powder. Dressing, 100 grams of strawberry jam, 100 grams of fresh strawberries, and two fresh kiwi fruits. So now, I will start my gas. Lovely, perfect, working, yes. So first, group A. Now we're going to go to like group A, group B, so you will understand what I'm talking about. Lovely, look at me. Oh, group one, milk is good for you. Very rich. So we put 750 ml of milk. We're going to put 200 grams of sugar. Laura Mouya, you saw me a big pass on finger. Sugar, sugar, we like him sweet, nice, sweet, sweet, sweet teeth, tout à soul. So, there we are. Here a bit of a twist. Lovely. What we're going to do, we're going to let him bowl. Okay, now, group B. Me got some plan, one of my custard powder. We're going to make an easy one for all of you. So, on that custard powder, I will add on one liter of milk, three quarters went to the pot, one quarter will go to the custard powder. So we put the milk to the custard powder, there we are. And we're going to give it a quick whisk. So the custard is done. The milk is going to be very ready, so I'm going to take off the top now. I don't want to have any surprise. All right, so, whoa, it's going to come very shortly. That's a very easy recipe, okay? So, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So, me putting custard below me now. So we put the custard inside and we're going to cook it. So she thick. She will thick. Perfect. Custard is done. Remember, the custard is hot, so of course she's a bit liquid. So yeah, she, she, do, she should look like it. And custard blah blah. So time custard will finish, lick lick something will come. What I will do, I will steal a bit of butter from the shortbread and I will put them in there. It's going to make it very smooth and very, very tasty. So the butter will go together, as you see. The custard, lovely. You see, you get the creamy things. Enough talking, no good. Okay, custard blow me flour ready, so. Me put him the hump and tassel. So, I'm going to cut the fruit. Don't lose your identity. Don't lose who you are. Because it's very important. If you are Papua New Guinean, you must act like a Papua New Guinean. If you are a white man coming from another place, act like a white man. But never criticize another people's place or country because you have been a guest in there. And I'm very stranded when I get very, very close time to time. So I'm going to get my kiwi like that. And I'm going to cut him on side. Easy, easy. You don't have to take a kiwi or strawberry because I'm expensive, yeah? All of you guys are, like I said before, very sweet teeth. Lovely. It's mine. Mm. There we are, the fruit is done in cuts nicely to give you an idea how we should put them on the tart. The fruit will go in the fridge. And because I got only two hands, obviously. So I will put that one down there. And the custard will go on top to make it cool faster. There we are, lovely. Hi. Wow. It's probably the first time since the show that my people doing something for me. They clean it up. Most of the time I come up here, I cook, I clean, I wash, I mop the floor and I go home. All right, never mind. A, B. So A is done, the custard. B, we cut the fruit. C, we're going to do the shortbread. Easy, easy. Shortbread, butter, 
200 gram of butter. So what I'm going to do, butter, thank you. That's it. Oh, you need to put the bowl down there. So what you want to do, you want to put the butter and the sugar together. So you're going to butter it. The butter to be butter it. We put the mixer down, it's going to be a bit nosy. That's the only one I could find. They don't have any silence with it. So now... So we're going to butter it together. Like that, the battery. So the display together a bit. Now the flour, plain flour. So plain flour, you go inside. 250 grams first. And we're going to start the mixer again. And then you're going to blend them up together. There we are. You don't mix them too long. That's ready. It's perfect. Very nice. That's on stick because it's perfect. It's got plenty of butter in there. I'll, uh, so I'll get a bit of flour up here. And I will do like I done last time. A bit like that. And I will put them on a tray and you see what I'm going to do. I will push it down and push it down. And you see how good we are. We can make some funny stuff on the side. There we are, let's a bit of like a country, country shell for the pie. So we don't want it too thick because what you're going to do, you're going to use all the pastry. So I will show you. You should have something like, like that. The pastry should be that thick, not too thick. But a bit thicker, it's all right too, it's okay. So now next, what I'm going to do, I'll twist it up a little bit. The best uh, when you do a shortbread like that, the shortbread should be used the day after. There we are, the shortbread is finished. We're going to take it to the oven because it is a pastry shell. There we are. They'll be taken in the oven for about 20 minutes at 200 degrees. So into the oven, 200 degrees for two, three days, two, for 20, for 20 minutes, and you'll be all right, two, three days, there we go now. Stop joking. 20 minutes at 200 degrees. We wait. Should be ready, it's been about 20 minutes into the oven, and we got the nice bit of color color. Now he have to go in the fridge for half an hour, let him rest to make him cool down. Excuse me. There we are, into the fridge for half an hour. Oh, all right, thank you. There we are back. The tart is ready, the base is cold, and I've made a pretty deal. It's a lovely base, as you see. And she's nice and cooked everywhere. Perfect. So I'm going to do put a base on the plate. Now what we have up here is a custard who's set already. Oh. There we are. The custard is set at last. So now what we're going to do, we're going to whisk it a little bit. You going to give it a bit of a whisk, like that. So she's good, you see? Perfect. So now, now, I will put the custard into the tart. We can do the custard lovely up here, because I want plenty of custard inside, because it's going to set again. Now, the fruit. We're going to put the fruit. And obviously, the last one on the middle. Lovely. We have a bit of jam up here that will cook with a bit of water. So that will be the last touch for the fruit tart. So we are. And I will put the jam in there. Any jam for the shop, strawberry jam must because color and red. Strawberry jam down, a little bit of water, not too much. And that's it. Put it in the fire. That's it, and warm it up. Yeah, no. Going to mix it up together. There we are. That's boiling a little bit. I'll stop him. So, we're going to put the juice in there. There we are. There we go down there. I will. So, that's my new, new button. Like I said, you buy them in a shovel, but two kin or something. So, there we are. 
Lovely. So what we're going to do, we're going to pump it up on top like that. So it's going to go inside, of course, it will be not too much. It will be just to make it shiny, shiny, shiny. Lovely, beautiful. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your dessert. It's a bit of a French pastry, and I want you to learn to do that. In the meantime, if you have anything to say, test your PNG at entv.com.pg. Love you all. God bless Papua New Guinea. Have a safe weekend or say whatever you want. I'll be back shortly. Taste of PNG is brought to you by Origin Energy.